Coming up in the next 30 minutes, the beauty of the Bno Derby. An exclusive interview with Maxwell Kunedu after making it 6 out of 6 against the Kraa Hatsugu. And of course, Kebab Craze at Super Clash. This is Brokum, capital of the Brokum Municipal of the Buno region. A football powerhouse, it has in the last decade played host to some of the country's biggest teams. My name is Juliet Bewa and you're welcome to this week's edition of GPL Express on TV3. So it is the weekend of the biggest football rivalry in this newly created region as Brokum Chelsea take on Ediana Stars. We have come here to make sense of all of that. <laughs> So we are on our way to the Golden City Park in Brokum, where the home side Brokum Chelsea are taking on Ediana Stars in what has been tagged the Bruno Derby. This region and the Bruno Ahafu one it came out of has always been home to football, from Bofakwa, Tano, um, BA United and Brokum Arsenal to Bichem United among others. There has always been plenty of it here, but it keeps giving both in club numbers and individual talent. <laughs>
They are not here to play. I'm proud to be a supporter of Adriana. Today is a football match between Adriana and Chelsea. But inshallah, from the power from, from the fire from Adriana, today we are going to beat Brooklyn Chelsea. Man, I'm here. 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 you wish for at a football game, then it isn't what you call it. You can hear the loud chants and screams at near misses and goal opportunities. As expected, it is mainly their home fans whose voices have drowned that of the opposition. Not wanting to be outdone, Ediana Stars posed too many threats, but only got their consolation through substitute Pius Asante Yabua with some minutes to spare before the end of the game. B coach Keke, and so the mother my own, I know, I know it. The love for the game has just begun, and Adriana and Chelsea as a Bono club, we are here to make a difference for Bono mind. Yeah, but play a bit of it, and say, young for her, we now see any points here, any points here, any of the other players, all by way, now we just draw up. You say, okay, but I found me will be a Bono one. I wanted the club just to win, but unfortunately, based on what the players, I think Adriana players did very well. They take their chances very well, and because of that, everything went wrong with them. What does it get me? Show me probably a ten. As for Yemi, yeah, said the match I won one, but the reference is a leak, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what can you be idea? Omus, Omusia, women, and Chelsea, there was packet papa. I have a team, so I can't be a division, Chelsea, yeah, no, Omunian. The stalemate results didn't come as a surprise to the two coaches, Paul Tando and Joseph Asaribediakun. It was an interesting game, just that my players uh, were not tactically uh, disciplined today. And uh, the change that we made uh, was okay. And that uh, changed the results for us. And I'm pleased with it, taking a point. I wanted to win, but it did not happen like that. I would say I'm okay with it. You know, Doma and Brooklyn, yeah, the same people. So it's like protocol play against Kinkesa in Kumasi. As you said, I know if I, we had won, if we had won, I think we have been happy. I bet. As we lost, what can we say again? I can say anything. But today, at least the first half, I saw them dominating the midfield. So after recess, we have to talk to our boys tactically to improve upon the game in the midfield. And it seems in the second half, things worked out for us. But it's unfortunately, we. We consider that goal. So we are going to better this performance by, by uh, improving upon our, our training tactics, our tactics, technique, and all things. 
So this week we are going to work on it so that we can go to our next match and get the three points. Brecom Chelsea goalkeeper Ibrahim Danlad had his all-season clean sheet record broken by Ediana Espayos Yeboah, who got the equaliser for the away side. I'm not uh, much disappointed because uh, after all, we've just played six matches and we haven't even lost a match, so it's a great uh, achievement. Drawing at uh, Adriana is not, it's not, they are not a bad side because uh, they are uh, at the second place too. So uh, getting a draw from them, I think uh, it's a very good result for us because uh, uh, losing to Adriana will be very bad and, 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 and very disappointing to us and then to the supporters. So uh, we're just going back and then going to the drawing board and we come up uh, with a great performance in our next game. Well, neither from tonight I have been possible to say a bit many equalizer and I'm not the opportunity to be an any option we are done say bit many equalizer and I'm meeting. About foreign, but unfortunately Danny Dan no more do no. Then if you say Danny say able to see Benado, then you don't know. Okay, okay, okay for us. The Golden City Park is a Waterloo venue for most visitors, a complex web most teams find difficult navigating. Odro Safo is the general manager of the club. In football, we have uh, the win, the lose, and the draw, and uh, we got a draw. Uh, we are still unbeaten. So, uh, I think the boys lost concentration in the dive minutes, and uh, they got they got their their equalizer, and that's that's it. I have nothing much to say about it. Yeah, they are still behind me. We all got one point. So I will add one, we also stay there. I'm going to Bechim. I'm going to try to see if I can win that game too. The Bono Derby is significant in many ways, same way it ties into the overall crave for football in the region. The match had interest from most stakeholders, including two journalists who were watching. Football is about Bruno. This is the home of football. Um, you love football. Football is our hallmark. Um, I'm not surprised the fans troop in their numbers. Um, daily and daily, this has been normal chasing in Adiana, passion, everything you could see in the game. And in Bravo here, all, all the time want to show their superiority over the other in terms of football. It, this all started when we were in uh, the lower division, Division 1. There was an old tension between Brekum clubs and Domain and Crow clubs. So we are not surprised to have this feeling here. And uh, my worry is that this match should be life. This should have been a, a match uh, to be watched by Ghanaians so that people will know that, look, Bruno Hafo is the home of football. Bruno Hafo teams, when we meet, uh, all, of, all of them want to show their superiority over the other. And uh, before this game, we have met 16 times. All of us, uh, Adriana have won uh, six times, Brekum Chelsea have won six times, and four of our games ended in a draw. Each have, before this game, each has uh, been able to get uh, two draws as each, uh, each of the team's home grounds. So it tells you the nature uh, of our games. And clearly, that is why we were able to exhibit at this particular moment. You know, before the game, uh, there is a little bit of Adriana stars, uh, Yaya Mohamed, who was already on six goals trying to put, he being the first player to put the ball at the net of Ayer Danlad. Uh, looking at uh, the scenario, the two players are contesting for the best player award and he wanted to be the player to put the ball so that he can have edge over Ayer Danlad. Uh, even though Adriana had a goal, but unfortunately he couldn't get the goal. So let's see, uh, it's part of the game. Sometimes you go for the plan A, which is to get the three points. If that plan A couldn't work for you, you have to stick to plan B, which is to get a point, than to uh, lose the game. Away from the Bono Derby and the Accra Sports Stadium was the other place to be this weekend as Kumasi Asante Kotoko travelled to Accra to fetch a much-needed win against Hatovok. The encounter brought back the traditional ambience characteristic of games involving the two sides as the fans soaked in every bit of the action, a push to the campaign to bring back the love for local football. To see that today, who is going to be ready? There we go, game underway. It's at Imanonete. Beautiful searching pass, looking for Joseph Esso. Now here is Esso, chops it beautifully. Sends the cross in. Kwame Ba. Here is Asabot. Ansabotre. 
This can be dangerous. Hasabo, Joseph Russo. It's a goal kick. This can be dangerous. It's a goal. Justice play. That's a goal. I play one goal to zero. And I just mentioned it. Now take a look at the movement. Kira is cut across. Mudasiru making inroads into Asafo territory. Mudasiru! What a miss! That for a cross into the box. Mete with another pass. Kofi Koji! Kofi Koji! That is some good defense. But deep into Katoko's territory. Joseph Asso! The phobia is have equalized. Here is Matthew and Imkujo. A oh, lovely skill from Anim Kujo. What a save from attack. Good save from goalkeeper Richard Attack. Let me see it again, Nana. Yeah. So Matthew Kujo hits it. A feeble shot though. Let me say There's a penalty. He gets the block. He gets in the block by the outstretch. Referee whistles. Keita. It's a goal. Nabi Keita has put the attack Fabulous! We are in town! We can't be possible to win! And we have done it! We have left to the back! We have done it! Kotoko always pride themselves that Accra is their home. Fair enough, they, they have beaten us in Accra. Well, we'll go to Kumasi and then take our three points too. Fabu! 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 Masters! Forward we go! Games involving hats and kotoko offer outlets for huge merchandise for traders and Sunday was no exception. Beyond the two clubs, traders cash in on the large numbers to make decent sales such as this kebab seller who was clearly the other big winner on the day. It's the biggest match day in Ghana and also a cocoa season for people who sell at the Accra Sports Stadium. Undoubtedly, the Super Clash is a cash cow for food vendors in the country. Let's find out from Malaja Udu, who sells the nicest kebab at the Accra Sports Stadium, as they say, and find out how much he makes on a Super Clash day. In Germany, it is beer and hot dogs. In England, it's their halftime pie and beer. It's look like in Ghana, the halftime meal of choice is kebab, also known as chinchinga. There is really a league center without a stand selling the delicacy. And for almost 40 years, Alaji Awudu has been present at the Accra Sports Stadium and other league centers dealing in chinchinga. Oh, that is good for me because it's not today I was starting selling this meat. So people, you can see the butter thing to buy. My kebab, you know, be here safe. How to make the kebab nice? But time it fresh meat. But when you buy the good, yeah, my, look at these people. When you go buy the good 300 and 200, I would want to go buy the good 40, 50, 60. If you see the good here, you yourself, they will like it. Not see the meat. People, they enjoy for the meat. It's not today, more than 40, something years. I can sell you this meat. The crowd by Audi store built up nicely at half time, and many of them say Chinchinga and football are striking bedfellows. It's nice. When your team is leading, you buy the kebab alongside with some beer, you feel comfortable. You feel okay, you understand, because you'll be happy. When your team is leading, you eat the kebab, you drink your beer, I think you are okay. Uh, Alaji Audi kebab will be correct kebab, it will be nice, nice kebab. And the perfect will be fine one. So that's why more people, if you come to buy the correct kebab for Alaji Udu. I would stand, it's not always this busy. He admits, Haas versus Kotoko is incredible for business. Well, Haas and Kotoko, that one is different. I'm happy. Because Haas and Kotoko, we don't enjoy. Anytime when you come Haas and Kotoko, they will get more, some more things to eat. People, young boys to go to school. I pay the boys. I tell me myself, I'm happy. So roughly a, a day, a Haas Kotoko day, yeah. um, how, how, how much do you sell? Oh, I was sell. It's true down there, I was selling. Not, not giving me your, your figure, but at least around, around hot. <laughs> I like around hot. Mommy, just when you go to kind the thing, the thing you will see, you turn what? Because I tell you, say so that it's different. But it, it's, a, it's a big day when it comes to house but for you. For me, for big day, that one happen. For big day, because today everybody do enjoy. 
they will get something better thing for us and Okotoko. Kotoko's victory over Hearts was engineered by one man who has just the right antidote for their rivals. Consistently, he has dominated Hearts whenever he is in charge of the Porcupine Warriors. Max Okneru is the coach of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Yeah, we always prepare ourselves very well. I mean, physically and mentally, uh, to, to play Hearts. I think Hearts is not a small team, so you need to put all your arsenals in place. Make sure that uh, you prepare very well. Uh, there are not any cheap team to, 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 to ride over. So all you need to do is to prepare very well and meet them squarely. Is there any special secret um, for you as a coach when you meet Accra Hearts of any time? The secret is hard work. We work so hard when we come in to meet us. What was the turning point for this game for you? I think uh, when they started to go for the long balls, that gave us a, a lot of relief in midfield. And uh, that was for me a turning point in the game because uh, we started picking the second balls and, you know, we're trying to uh, put some or swing some passes together. Yeah, but when they were playing the, their passing game, uh, somewhere along the line, when we had our two midfielders injured, we, we struggled a bit and came in again when they decided to go for the long balls. Um, how difficult was it for you to navigate the, this victory? It wasn't easy. I must say that the Haas team today it's, it's a very compact and strong side. I respected them so much this afternoon. They, they made themselves proud, even though they lost the game, but they did play very, very well. How does this victory boost the confidence of your players and your te as a, a team as a whole? Yeah, I heard we are on the fourth on the ladder, and that's very good for our confidence, and uh, our supporters are now very happy. Simply because uh, we, we, we beat as a folk. But uh, from where I sit, I think uh, we are now happy to be up there with the, 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 the top teams in the league. You know, we started well and we fumbled in a couple of games. But I think we are now back into it and uh, we'll keep fighting. But we shouldn't let it, uh, this get into our heads too much because we have a match at the weekend as well. So we we'll do all we can to improve upon this performance and make sure that uh, we live in no stone and turn. It's good we won. It's good for us to go ahead and win the other matches and make sure that we come to the very top of the table. The 16-year-old boy, Kujo, um, what have you put in him to give him such confidence on, on the turf? He's a genius and we need to protect him. We know he's still growing and uh, that's why we are not rushing him. Uh, we have to be patient with him and make sure that we guide him and use him at the right time. You know, we can throw him out there from the beginning, but we don't also want to take that risk. Uh, he's still young. We know he has too many years ahead of him. And definitely uh, Ghana will benefit from the qualities he has. So we only have to wait and see what happens. Uh, he needs to develop, he needs to learn a couple of things more and make him a complete uh, player. So let's give him time. And that's what we are doing right now. It looks like you always introduce him at the second half, which he comes in and do the magic for you, isn't it? Yeah, with the age he has, we don't want to risk him by training him out there from the start. That is how we build young players. Uh, you give them time. Sometimes if it's not needed, you don't even play him at all. For him to learn a couple of things. And he's learning and learning very fast. And that for me is more important. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. 
There is a lot of thrilling action to look forward to on March Day 7 of the Ghana Premier League. At the car of Park in Dansuman, Kumase Asante Kotoko will seek to make it two wins in two games after the Hearts of Oak Tram. They will, however, have to deal with a stubborn Liberty side who beat Wafa last weekend. Hearts of Oak will travel to Dewu to try and get the needed three points, but they will have to deal with a home side who have proven useful at the Theatre of Dreams. Ediana Stars are fired up for their clash with Mediama in Doma. Chelsea will also make a short trip to Bichem United in a clash that is